everyone, this is Sehemin and welcome to another new video. Today is Monday and the 1st of April 2022. So I'm making the first vlogging video of April. This video is gonna be a studio vlog. If you have seen my every videos or if you have followed my art journey on this channel for years, you would probably notice that I'm making more of a studio vlogs because there's no particular reasons but this is my current life I'm getting several business inquiries or commissions like every week I feel really really grateful of it several years ago honestly I've never imagined me apologizing people for not being able to take the commissions or asking for waiting because I'm not confident to do everything at the same time and also I don't have time to do everything and when I decided to take their commissions I really really don't want to make them disappointed so I always try to do my best to understand what they want apart from commissions I'm currently working on two studio projects um, actually, there are three projects, but that one is not really clear yet, so I want to exclude it at this point. So the first one is, for the first project, I want to make more art prints and stickers that all I am with spring season. So I'm having the second round of this spring edition project. For the second project, I'm focusing on my branding and how I can communicate in better ways. For example, I'm thinking about designing new thank you cards and printing double sides. I haven't ever printed double sided before, so I'm quite not sure how to do it yet. Uh, but in this vlog, I want to share you guys how I'm doing and how I'm learning. And also, yesterday I made my first freebie stickers thanks to you guys thanks for your support i was able to make a little budget to make little gifts for you guys so they will be ready to be sent from the next shop update and i'm gonna put a little gift when i package when i wrap your order i don't think i'm gonna print the same design always just to make you guys feel excited about of your future orders so basically this is my current thoughts and current plans for my studio project now it is lunch time so i'm gonna have a lunch right now and i have to go to the post office to send your orders and then i will be back here to cut these stickers My desk is so messy lately because I'm preparing for another shop update really really soon and I just opened this box two days ago and I painted this drawing this painting yesterday with the art supplies that I got it is a gouache painting and I'm really really happy about how it turned out I think the quality of the brushes was really really nice so I felt like it was much easier to draw what I exactly want. So last night I made some stickers for 
the next shop update and also a giveaway that I'm going to do probably tomorrow because I was thinking of hosting a giveaway once I reached to 20k followers on Instagram I got the ideas like a month ago it is actually the second time to do a giveaway the first one was when I collaborated with No Issue last year I think it was around May or June and I celebrated for 4,000 followers at the same time and this time I'm going to do it myself it sounds a little bit crazy for me because I can't believe how fast, how quickly my branding has been growing over the past year and now So I decided to send this to specially designed stickers for this giveaway I'm currently thinking of picking two winners so I meant to print two of them but I accidentally printed four I'm not sure how I'm going to do with these two stickers uh, but probably I'm going to have one for myself and also they are going to be the first two people who are going to have these freebie stickers the first freebie stickers and also last night I printed new stickers that are going to be in the next shop update and this one is also a part of the price oh by the way I'm not sure if I mentioned what is this little kitty thing last time when I caught up with you guys it is a round punch so basically it makes the edge round I got it because I wanted to make a new thank you cards and I wanted to make it rounded edge honestly I still haven't had a chance to sit down to design my new thank you cards because this week was so busy I'm still working on the big project for a client, the same client I also should work on other commissions and also I should respond to someone who is asking for a commission I have a time to work Friday which is today and tomorrow Saturday uh, for this week because on Sunday we have another family event I haven't finished the design new stickers and new art print for the next shop update so I'll focus on printing and cutting job uh, for the two days and next week hopefully I can have time to design my new thank you cards Tuesday on 12th of April and last night I finally started designing my new thank you cards so I drew some my ideas in my sketchbook first last night and I want to make my thank you cards look like flower gardens because I really like visiting botanic gardens and also our one of our current interests is about houses so almost every day we really really love talking about our future house and how and what we want to plant in the gardens and the backyard we really really love imagining about our plant plants so these ideas are based on our current interests I actually started drawing digital illustration as well so this is the front side of the thank you cards I'm really shy to say what this girl is me in the drawing I'm chilling on the floor I haven't drawn the backside yet 
but I'm thinking of drawing based on these sketches. And on the back side, I'm also gonna put some text. Okay, so I just finished adding colors. I'm really really happy with how it is turning out, but there's one thing that I really want to change. The the text come follow me at Hemina look a little bit hard to read. So I wanna fix it right now. So I finished drawing and designing my new thank you card. This one is the front side and this one is the back side. So now I'm gonna try to print the other side for the first time. I transferred them on my Google Drive. So now I'm gonna make a new artboard. The size will be a four size and I'm gonna change the color mood. Uh, RGB color to seem like K. Now let's drag them into Photoshop. Oh, by the way, the size of the thank you card is A6. So the the full thank you card perfectly fit into the. A4 sized art board. So when I print the back side, I just turn off this group. This group uh, includes only the front sides, and I'm gonna turn on. No, I'm gonna turn off this group. Then it will show only the back side. After printing the front side, I'm gonna flip the paper. Not not this way, like the like side way and don't make it upside down so it will print exactly what I want. I'm gonna use this paper for printing thank you cards. They are drawing pads. I got them about three years ago from a local office supply store. For the past three years, I wasn't sure how I wanted to use them because normally I draw in my sketchbook or on the drawing tablet. Today I finally worked out how I want to use them. Hopefully the thickness is enough to print double-sided. Alright, so I printed two copies of the front side just for now and then I'm gonna flip and put them into there and then I'm gonna click the print just to see how the back side would look like for testing. For me, I'm really happy with how they look like right now. Uh, but I'm really happy to hear what you guys think.
so it is on Thursday. It's been really really busy for the past few weeks but at the same time it was an absolutely wonderful feeling for me because I've been dreaming of drawing all day and having a little art studio since I was a little. We can do a lot of fun things such as hang paintings on the walls or any house projects in this house because we are currently renting this house and in Australia house marketing is very strict. Even we can't use stickers or blue text because they can damage the walls. So I can't do makeover to set up my proper studio room. That's the only one thing that makes me feel unfortunate. But mentally I feel like I'm having a really great studio and also genuinely I really really feel like my childhood dream and at the same time my current dream are slowly coming true. So while I was making this new thank you card, they they actually made me feel like I'm moving I'm moving a step forward to my dream job and my dream studio. I really can't believe that. I made it. I made it. Three years ago or even seven years ago, I couldn't imagine to me making printing this double-sided thank you cards by myself. Now I'm going to end this video here. I think that's all I wanted to share in this vlog. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. So today it is 14th of April and my second round of my shop update of this year is going to happen really really soon. So if you're interested, please check out my shop so I can send this new thank you cards and also my first freebie sticker as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful lovely day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!